Jonathan Carrier. I'm joined by the Federal Treasurer, Joe Hockey. Good morning. Good morning, Chris. Just to be clear on this, if this plant went ahead, there would be nothing to stop Qantas domestic arm being 100% foreign owned, nothing to stop the offshoring of maintenance and nothing to stop its headquarters moving overseas. Uh, no, that's not right. The Air Navigation Act, uh, which will apply to Qantas, as it does apply to Virgin International, it has certain restrictions on it, including a 49% limitation on foreign ownership. Uh, but even more so, uh, international air services agreements, uh, which Qantas is a part of, as is Virgin to a lesser degree, have a huge number of restrictions in them, which include limitations on foreign ownership. Uh, the chairperson must be an Australian citizen, head office in Australia, Air operational base has to be in Australia. Uh, no more than 49% of the total value of the uh, issued share capital can be held by foreigners. So the restrictions apply, but what we are doing is removing the burden of a single piece of legislation that applies only to Qantas. And, and you know, the Labor Party in 2002 advocated this. In 2002, they actually advocated removing these restrictions on Qantas Somehow they're going backwards uh, 12 years later. So why is foreign ownership bad for Grain Corps and good for Qantas? Well, I made an assessment on a number of criteria in relation to Grain Corps, uh, including its monopoly status, essential monopoly status in a part of the market in Australia. And I made a number of other criteria, as you know, laid down a number of, of additional criteria. But having said that... Uh, Qantas is competing vigorously offshore and it's losing market share in the international marketplace and in many ways it is constrained by its burden of costs here but in Australia. But to be clear, for example, if China decided that it wanted to take over Qantas, you could still stand in its way even if you levelled these rules. Of course, because of foreign investment. I, I, we still have absolute discretion. So the government does in intervene in companies when it seems that it needs to. Well, we will prevent a foreign takeover of an Australian company where the takeover would be contrary to the national interest, absolutely. Now, the government keeps raising the carbon tax as one of the main problems for Qantas, but the company itself says that's not its main issue at all. Yes, I was surprised at Qantas's statement yesterday, which came in the middle of our cabinet meeting, uh, but it is entirely inconsistent with what they actually said in their statement uh, a few days ago, where they identified that the unrecovered cost of $106 million associated with their carbon tax liability was one of the reasons why uh, they had a substantial half-year loss. Now, the fact is, uh, if a $106 million carbon tax bill is immaterial, well, it's certainly uh, not going to help with the justification for a maybe multi-billion dollar loan facility. Maybe it's part of their problem, but not the biggest part. And oh, about yeah. a month ago, you seemed to be signalling that you did think that Qantas was a special case and that it could get a government debt guarantee. Well, I laid down four criteria. The first criteria we are addressing, which is to get rid of the legislation that restricts Qantas. This is the biggest and most significant step forward for the longer term that we can undertake for Qantas. And we want to do it because we want to see Qantas survive and grow. That's what we want. We want competition in Australia. We want competition to Australia. And this is the best way can, we can facilitate that. Do you that. have a plan B because this looks likely to be knocked back in the Senate? Well, we are not writing out blank cheques. There are a lot of companies in Australia that would love to have a multi-billion dollar unsecured loan from the federal government. Which the federal we are not doing that. Banks in the past. And 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 we well that was systemic wide, systemic wide for the whole banking system. Now we are not going to do that for an individual company. We are not going to guarantee billions of dollars of debt as every small business in Australia would probably want as well. Is this a plan for the revival of Qantas or also a plan to wedge the Labor Party? No, the, this is not about politics. This is about good policy. Labor used to believe in good policy. Uh, in 1992, the Labor Party privatised Qantas. Some of their own front bench haven't come to terms with that. In 2002, they advocated removing foreign ownership restrictions. So there they are, the Labor Party skiing down the hill... Uh, in favour of privatisation, in favour of removing foreign ownership restrictions. And near the bottom of the hill, Bill Shorten puts up his hands and says to his team, let's go and ski back up the hill. Finally, well, Treasurer, do you think that, that people are getting a little unnerved by the number of job losses that they see at the moment? Holden, Qantas, iconic companies. This unnerves people, doesn't it? Well, I'd say to the Australian people, 
This is the formula that delivers long-term growth and jobs. This is the way to do it, to allow business to get on with the job of business. A successful and profitable business employs more people. A business making a loss on a regular basis starts to sack people. And that's what's happening with Qantas. How is Qantas going to be profitable? Well, it has to be able to compete without the ball and chain of government regulation. Joe Hockey, we'll have to leave it there, but thank you. Thank you, Chris.